Hello and welcome to Fun Fact Friday, the Friday where every Friday I deliver you a fun fact every single Friday. And today's Friday, we're going to be delivering you a fun fact about my favorite parasite. It's called Simithoa exigua, and it's the tongue-eating louse. Ah, I can't wait. Look, I love this little dude. Warning, this video is going to be kind of kooky, kind of weird. Back away from this video. If you're sensitive to weird-looking images, nothing graphic, just odd, you know? Simithoa exigua is the tongue-eating louse, as I mentioned before, and its name is exactly what it implies. This is a little parasite that swims through the ocean, swims into the gills of a fish, and attaches to their tongue and becomes a false tongue. It is very easy to tell when a fish has been infested with Simithoa exigua because you're gonna open up their mouth and you're gonna see a little guy with little eyes staring back at you. And you're gonna say, hold on, I didn't know tongues had legs. Well, Simithoa exigua does. Here's a cool x-ray of Simithoa. So Simithoa exigua swims through the ocean and enters a fish through the gills. Males attach around the gills, while the females attach onto the tongue and eat it. And then they become a prosthetic tongue for the fish. It's crazy. This little gal attaches herself to the muscles of the tongue, replacing the tongue, becoming a prosthetic tongue. The fish can then use this parasite as an artificial tongue. Are you kidding me? This is crazy. It continues to feed on the host's blood, but here's the thing. The host doesn't necessarily die from this. The fish can live a long and fulfilling life with a Simithoa exigua as a tongue. To our knowledge, this is the only isopod or parasite that actually replaces an entire organ of a being. Isn't that crazy? You can find this in the Gulf of California. You can find this in the Gulf of Ecuador. You can find this in the Atlantic. So apparently Simithoa exigua is not that well studied, but Scientists have theorized that it starts out male and then becomes female after feeding on the gills for long enough. They mate on the gills of the fish that they are parasiting on. Simithoa can live on snappers, on clownfish, on any sort of fish that has like a wide enough mouth for it probably, I don't know. And now because I can, I'm gonna make a, an edit of Simithoa exigua. Some of you may find the following clip tasteless but I don't care. What the fuck was you thinking? <laughs> also, while I'm here, I just want to mention that I was having brunch with the girls and I decided to show them Simithoa Exigua on my phone. And while I was doing that, one of my friends texted me and said that he got me a present. And then when I opened the message, this was the present. Okay, uh, that was Fun Fact Friday talking about my favorite parasite. Hope you enjoyed and bye bye